Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the garage. Uh, I've done a bunch of small videos. Trying to save them to make one video. Very short ones. That idea didn't really work out for me too well. Because I did a few videos afterwards and I, I posted one of them, I think. And, uh, yeah, I kind of lost some, kind of got some mixed up. So, I'm going to show you what I got done yesterday and what I'm about to do today. So, the chop salt area. I'm going to take you over there and show you. All right, the wall, I had some foam left over from something else. I can't remember what I used it for. I had like a half a sheet left over. And I had some paneling from a trailer that I used to live in. Extra. So I put that up. The table's finished. Just two by four, three quarter inch plywood. I'm, I'm going to put... Yeah, and then all I did for bracing is that right there. Table saw. I did a two by two frame, glued and it, screwed it. 20 inch by 20 inch pieces of uh, plywood that uh, I was going to use for shelves, but I need some place for the dust to go. So then, and then I got these casters. And uh, two of them lock. Two of them lock, so when I'm ripping, it's stable. I put the, the ones that don't lock in the crack right there where the garage slab meets the driveway slab, and lock these two, and it should be stable enough. Um, I used lag bolts, so it's, it's permanent on there. Now what I'm going to do is put a shelf on here angled so the sawdust goes back and for some kind of dust collection. I haven't figured that out yet, but that's down the road. I needed space. I needed space. So that's what I did there. decided that uh, um, the big shop back's going to go bye-bye. It's going to go to the daughter. She needs one. I've got the rigid. It'll work for now. I just have to clean it out more. I need space. The cart that I made for the air compressor, I'm going to redo it. But for right now, it's fine. I'm not going to mess with because I'm going to add a tank to that. I think that's one of my next projects, but that's uh, that's kaput. And uh, I got all these two by fours, these short ones. Half of them were going to be for the carts, but I went a different direction with the carts, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I've got two slabs right there. Those are the deck boards. Those are going to start off with end tables. One of them, I didn't pay attention to which way the grain was going. So when it cups, you're supposed to stagger. Well, I didn't, and it's, yeah, it's bad. So now I've got the high top table top out. And I've got three things of epoxy. Two are Gorilla Glue. Love Gorilla Glue. And one is Harbor Freight brand. So some of the holes are pretty substantial. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna do the Gorilla Glue first. And put it in the, 
there's two holes that are big. I'm going to put it in one of the bigger holes. I was going to get resin, like an epoxy resin, and mix it up, but I had these three containers of epoxy, so I figured I'd use those up. And that the Harbor Freight brand is just as good as the Gorilla, then I'll just, for the other table, I'll just go get, I'll just go get that. Um, not saying that I won't get more Gorilla, but to get these to get these done and experiment a little bit, I think that's top priority. So I'm gonna get down some and some gloves here. And get to and get to mixing some epoxy. So, be right back with you. back YouTube a lot of work here these right here are gonna be the, the skirts for the table I think I've got enough of them ripped up to, uh, to do both tables and uh, the two by twos on the, on the ground are gonna be the legs these I've been lugging these things around two by twelves pressure treated these were Mount Morris High School's old bleachers and uh, they got new aluminum ones, so they took all the 2 by off of it and scrapped the metal frames, and I, I snagged a few of these boards. I, now, I cut them into six-foot lengths, so I 
haul and carry them, but they're beat up, um, split, dry rotted, blue paint, just beat up. I think I think that's gonna look good. I got the the deck boards came off the trailer in the in the front rail, and then we got uh, we got the old Mount Morris bleacher seats for the uh, for the skirts and for the legs. I think that's kind of cool. Um, I think I have enough left up of there in the in the rafters for some for some stools. At least the seats. I don't know two fours. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. But uh, I'm gonna wire brush these and uh, sand them. Not a lot, but sand them. Uh, if, the, if the blue paint stays on, does come off, it does come off. I'm going to leave it on there. We're, we're going for the old rustic look. Um, as you can see, the back sides are fine. This was underneath. These were the top. This was the end of one of the tops. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm careful and pre-drill holes and use glue, maybe even a little epoxy just to keep them together. So that's it for today, YouTube. Remember, share, like, and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Be blessed, and we'll see you later.